Generally in the fall, a lot of these lakes, they pull them down to winter pool, and that's what we're experiencing right here. They're drawing the water down. And it can make it fishing kind of tough. A lot of the stuff they've been holding all year is out of the water or too shallow where they, you know, maybe not, they may not be holding there. But at the same time, when they do draw the water, it can concentrate them. And if you can find them, a lot of times you can catch a lot more fish. Ooh, there he is. <laughs> that little guy. Showing off for the deer. Yeah, little footballs, aren't they? But still, man, they're good. Chunk. Like I was saying, it really neat about the Tennessee River and found that you have large mouse, small mouse, and spotted bass all in one. And here in the fall, they all get up and they're all chasing bait. You're just as likely to catch a little pound and a half bass, pound bass like I've been catching is a five pound large mouth, big spotted bass, or a five or six pound small mouth. That's kind of what would be nice. That's kind of what I'm hoping is going to happen here pretty quick. <laughs> I didn't even move it. <laughs> oh, I lost him. Another one's after it. Come on, buddy. You got it? Yeah, that one got it. <laughs> this gunfish is so good, you just throw it out there and you just let it, if you let it sit there too long, four or five of them will have it spit it out by the time you get the real one in. There's one with it. I'm going to get one of those suckers. Yeah, he left. Another little chunky guy. Fat. Feeding that shad for this. For the, feeding up for the winter time, I guess. Let's see how long it takes. Twitch it a couple times. Call them on in. Well, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> man, yeah, I got in that thing. <laughs> it's always fun. You like lose two or three on the same cast and then get one. They're just so aggressive, slashing at this thing that they just, I guess they're trying to really hurry up and get it before the other one gets it. That they're missing it, hitting it all over, and then you get one like that that just eats it all the way down to the hill. I think there must be just hundreds of them. This one ate it. I don't think you could eat it anymore. This is the gunfish. It's a really great bait. Looks like it had no. See how that hook is opened out right there? That must have been what the bigger one I saw first hit it was on. It's happening too a lot. You cook one, you look, and there's a whole bunch following it trying to get him. This has become one of my favorite topwater baits, this gunfish here. It walks the dog really well, just like the Sammy. Has a little spitting face on the front. Like a G-Splash, it's kind of a combination of the two, and it walks and spits, and it's just a great bait. Cast well, it's got a tail weight, little tons of weights in the tail. You can cast it a mile. It's great for fishing these, uh, the jumps, like what we're doing today. Some of the really unique features of the gunfish are the tungsten resin ball is tail weighted. It's a, it's a weight system that's in the end of the lure, and it's a slim body bait. What that allows you to do is cast this bait a really long way. You know, it's really amazing. It's a great bait for covering a lot of water, I've actually thrown it underneath trees because it's tail weighted. It throws just like a regular plug, and it's also great on schooling and you know surface feeding fish because you can cast it a long way, and you don't have to get right on top of them and spook them down. Lucky Craft offers the gunfish in three sizes: a 75, a 95, and a 115. These three sizes allow you to match just about any size bait fish when you're trying to match the hatch. That ought to cover just about any top water situation. Now, how you work the gunfish? You work it the same way you would a sammy. They're similar in that respect. Usually you make a long cast, and what you're doing is you're twitching with your rod tip, you're popping slack line, and keep a regular cadence, and you're reeling just about a half reel in between each one. Make sure you keep slack, because that allows the bait to go side to side, and watch what it does. Keep your rod tip down, keep on going, 
keep a steady cadence, and that bait will just work magic. Good one. Yeah. I think I found a new hot spot. Sand spot right by that floating deal. Oh, man. Come here, buddy. Oh, yeah. That's the nicest one yet, I believe. Large mouth. Well, that's a pretty one. One more jump in you, huh? Oh, that's a nice one. Now, flats that we've been talking about are almost featureless, and that's why it's really important to find the real subtle features to uh, enhance what you catch. A really good tip uh, that can help you fish in flats a lot is, is going to a lake that's pulled down in the fall and looking at the flat and figuring out what is there, a little bitty difference that you can find that you wouldn't be able to find any other time of the year. That's a great time to go do your homework. Now cover on the flats are things that sweeten the sweet areas on a flat and can make one stretch of a good transition area that's in the structure on a flat really good and make the other area not so attractive to fish. A uh, typical example, say you had a nice channel bend moving into a flat where it dropped off from shallow feeding areas into really deep water. Now half of it had clumpy grass beds along and the other half didn't. This part with the scattered clumpy grass beds probably is just a dynamite area compared to the other half. Always a good idea, even when you're catching with topwaters, every now and then if it slows down, it's just try some different variations of what you've been doing. Maybe let it sit there for a little while one time. Maybe work it faster, slower, erratically, real subtly. Hard to say any given moment what's the perfect retrieve for your topwater bait is. That's why it's nice with gunfish. It does so many different things. It walks the dog, works fast really well, it's easy to cast, and it has a little spitting face on it. Ooh, that's a better fish. Finally got one of them. Swimming into the grass. Look at that. Another nice little chunk. Oh, that sucker's not coming. You see that? Yeah, I got it now. Oh, yeah, it's a good one. This is a good one. I think they're all good. Oh, Back in that same old sand spot, let it rest for a minute. These have to be covered. Yeah. That's a nice bass. Oh. <laughs> it's every cast in there. Same spot. 